some players we have already identified at least four players and another two are in the pipeline so we are working on that hopefully before the end of the week uh, we will know if we would have signed them or if something might have happened but we are really really uh, working on that the office uh, is doing all they can uh, to make sure that we learn these signatures. which departments are you hoping to to reinforce as, as you can see, we have a problem in scoring. We have a big problem in scoring, and that's the, the, the biggest priority. So we are looking at getting at least two strikers, at least two wingers, at least one central uh, midfielder, and a, a right back. So six players in total. Looking at the uh, last match you played, you also have a problem in the, uh, in the goalkeeping department. Yeah. Are you doing something about it? Yeah, okay, goalkeepers make mistakes and you see, when a goalkeeper makes a mistake, everybody will see. Yeah. If you miss a chance, if you miss a chance one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, uh, people will forget about that very quickly. But when a, a goalkeeper makes a mistake, then it becomes a very, very big story. But of course, we have an experienced goalkeeper and he made a mistake yesterday. He has saved us in many situations uh, before, but uh, okay, people can't, can't really talk about that. But it's just to work hard, and it's just to continue working and trying to rectify our mistakes and hopefully we'll get better. Okay. And looking at the striking uh, department, you also, you only have uh, Ojo Ol Ol Olani, who is actually struggling because he does not have support. Are you going to look for experienced players or you are going to just go, go back to the junior team and uh, look for uh, options? I think uh, to answer your question, we have uh, enough of the, of the junior players. We are trying to look uh, at least on experience. And uh, just like I said before, we have uh, challenges in between the boxes, yeah. uh, both in, a, in attack and in defense. That's why I said we need to bring in at least two two good strikers and maybe a right back so yeah. to at least to, to cover those areas. Yeah. But uh, I know once we have these players who can give us another 10% from what we have, then I think we'll do it. Something interesting about, about FC Leopards is that um, when players leave, like uh, the, the 18 or so players who, who left, yes. because they were thinking they're going to look for greener pastures, yeah. most of them, have, when they go away, you'll find that they begin, three months later, they begin struggling to come, coming back. 
What is it about FC Leopards that makes players, when they leave, they want to come back as quickly as possible? Uh, it's a combination of many things because uh, if you look, it's not just FC Leopards alone. If you look at the current crop of players, they, they, they rush. They, they have that urgency to want to play in Europe. Uh, yeah. A 